there, friends, and welcome to another episode of Ya at Home. My name is Miss Marie, and I'm going to be taking you through a story time and art activity today. We're going to be reading the book I Went Walking by Sue Williams and illustrated by Julie Fibus. So grab your little ones and let's read together. I Went Walking, written by Sue Williams and illustrated by Julie Vivas. I went walking. What did you see? I saw Black Cat looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw Brown Horse looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a Red Cow looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a Green Duck looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw Pink Pig looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a Yellow Dog looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a lot of animals following me. The end. So what did you think? What was your favorite animal in the book? There sure were a lot. So the next time you go walking, see what you can find. Explore, look up, look down, look all around. There may be an animal waiting for you. So now we're gonna create some binoculars. So on your next walk together with your family, you can spot reptiles, animals, insects with your new handmade binoculars. So grab these materials and come on back. Gather the following materials, two toilet paper rolls, crayons, markers, scissors, water cup, paintbrush, yarn or ribbon, and tape. So what we're we'll be doing now is called a crayon resist. Grab your crayons and decide on your pattern. Whatever colors you use, make sure you press hard. Decide on your pattern. Here I decided to do some simple shapes, some triangles, and once again you'll notice that I'm pressing as hard as I can. Continue with your shapes and patterns. Even if they decide to scribble all over this, it's completely fine because the next technique that we'll be using is going over it with marker to complete our crayon resist. So just have fun with it. Talk about shapes, colors, and patterns. The next step involves taking your markers and drawing into the open spaces where you didn't color with crayon. That's called the negative space. As you can see, I'm using the marker and coloring right on top of the crayon. You can still see the crayon coming through because it has a waxy buildup. So plan colors that are in contrast to the colors you used in crayon. So if you used crayons that were red, yellow, or orange, those are considered warm colors. And you can use a contrasting color for your marker, which would be either blue, purple, or green. Those are your cool colors. This is where the magic happens. Grab that cup of water and your paintbrush and start to paint directly on top of where you colored with marker. The water will start to dissolve the washable markers and create a watercolor effect. You'll start to see the colors blend together. And what's really neat is that, remember that waxy buildup that was in the crayons? Now you can paint directly on top of the crayon and nothing will happen to it. In fact, you'll get the bleed of the color of the washable markers right through the crayons. Continue to do this in every section of your toilet paper roll where you colored with marker. You'll start to see the colors blending together right before your eyes. After you finish the first roll, go on to the second roll until you're satisfied and then just let it sit to dry. Once they're fully dry, hold them together and secure them with tape. It's important that you wrap the tape all the way around both rows 
since they are round, they may shift out of place. The final step is to tape your yarn or ribbon to both sides of your binoculars at a length that will be safe and comfortable to hang around your neck. And that's it. You have your binoculars ready to go. Now, wasn't that a great way of reusing some old toilet paper rolls? Here are mine. How did yours turn out? Pull them up so I can see. Spectacular. All we need now is to grab our hats, our binoculars, and we'll be ready for our walk. So join us next time for another episode of Yaw at Home and stay creative. Bye.